Hello, ladies and gentlemen. It's a wild time here with the Battlefield Nations, joined by uh, my fellow co-caster tonight, Matumba. Tonight we've got two big, massive teams: Italy versus KSA. So, welcome, Matumba. How are you doing? I'm doing good. I'm ready to get into this action. I'm ready to get things going. Two very, very interesting teams about to go at it here uh, to settle the score once and for all for Battlefield Nations. Nice, nice. So, first map we're playing tonight is going to be Narvik. We've seen the team. Most of the Das wird dir helfen. So, with teams like this, they're more like map control. Map control is especially important on Narvik because uh, it's a map for example. It's a map control map. So, if you see the team, uh, whoever, KSA, Awesome, awesome, and we're jumping straight into Italy here. We're seeing uh, some of these uh, Buffalo Matex guys here. Controlling that top bridge is going to be completely key. Locking that off is going to pretty much cut off a lot of the map here. And we're seeing a lot of uh, red flags there at the top of the screen there, Matumba. So Italy definitely getting the upper hand on KSA at the beginning of the game. Right. And that once again stems from map control. Italy is uh, so aggressive as a team. Uh, watching them plenty of times and their whole deal is aggressive. Getting in your face, letting you know that, hey, we're here, we're on the point. And that's exactly the point you kind of make you like, off the game. Yeah, and they're, and they're definitely doing that. It's kind of taking a uh, very early lead, not by a lot though. Uh, pretty showing up a lot of dominance here. But KSA uh, have taken this bottom half of the bridge here while Italy have taken the top. And they're just kind of dropping players down in front of KSA right here. They've got pretty strong defense. Not a lot of smoke as we saw on the top half of the bridge here. But Italy definitely doing a good job of fighting that one out there. And uh, unfortunately, it does look like KSA maintain that control on the top and the bottom of the bridge. And there's a lot of fighting now happening in the middle of the town here. A lot of buildings now starting to get taken out. And KSA, again, control these yellow buildings, which is such a key position here. If you can control this mid-map, you can kind of go sort of anywhere you really want. And they're really flooding this area. Right. And uh, sea flags mostly uh, going to be held from the houses here. No one's going to really be out in the open. Out in the open is uh, no man's land, as some people call it. Uh, easiest way to get shot, <laughs> and you don't want to be out in the open on uh, the sea flag. Yeah, we've seen a lot of fighting on this Delta flag. Again, this bridge has been such a key position here, and it's uh, really allowing KSA to put a lot of pressure on these Italian guys. And they're really struggling having to throw numbers just up and forward into the Lewis guns and it's not working out for them at all um, but I mean Alpha's been contested at the uh, very back there we see KSA really managed to uh, suck in players into that Delta flag but Italy managed to get some guys wrapped around unfortunately for them the attack didn't go their way KSA managing to hold on to that but we are seeing a lot of smokes now on Delta with a three-man Italian push now becoming a four-man let's see what happens with Timber as the player gets taken out from a uh, from nameless, so it's very nice. He's gonna get five there. From what I saw, forty-three. I'm not entirely sure, but he's a man getting dropped there by Buffalo. Maddox. Let's see. Yeah. Maddox being a very strong, like, permanent player on this bridge, it seems like that's his role. Get on the bridge, hold it, defend it, try and push the attacks. But KSA dominating the kill feed at the moment, you know, just wiping out that four-man push. And we are seeing uh, some KSA guys now really looking to mop these guys up. Fascia going down underneath in the pipes, a really random position to be in. Um, and KSA have really uprooted them, allowing them to push into Delta. Now the tables are completely turned, and we're seeing KSA fully dominate this and already start to put the pressure on the outside of Charlie here. Right, and I think uh, more or less Italy's A game from what uh, I've seen before is they'll always try to go for the back cap, but what KSA is extremely good at is denying that. And it seemed that uh, there was a push that was going to try to leap to, uh, to A, I believe, for Italy, but you said that that one was wiped out. Um, so I believe now that KSA has got things locked in, this may go south very, very quickly if it is, if it is done here. 
Yeah, I mean, we just saw like a couple of these uh, Italians go straight through to Charlie. They managed to uh, stop the initial push from KSA, and now they're starting to put a lot of pressure on this mid map. KSA needs to start reacting quick to this. Um, I mean, we can see from the mini map there's about three of these Italian guys. Now there's going to be two. Okay, so really mopping this one up, getting those revives, and they're really holding on to the revives. They're not skipping straight away, um, which is going to be key because you can easily turn a 1v3 into a 1v4 if uh, those other three teammates hold on to those revives. It makes capping flags really easy. Uh, we're jumping here onto one of the Italians here. C Laps acting as a really good spawn beacon for that team on Charlie. Instantly, that cap goes back towards the favor of the Italians as KSA now really starts to panic. I think they moved a lot of the players off of the flag to go somewhere else and the pressure is really on although KSA are leading this game 703 to 662 so house control is definitely Italy's A game for the C flag here and it seems that they've ran off all of KSA off the point there and D is left uh, hanging there is maybe one Italy and one KSA on D both sharing a flag we're gonna see who gets taken off who since this is uh, since this uh, is a one v one, excuse me, or now a two v one, if Italy goes down, or excuse me, Pokey or Pokey, excuse me, goes down, this may be very very big. Shooting at the tank, I don't know if that was the smartest idea, but who you knows? Yeah, very brave of him to do that. He's drawing a lot of attention to himself there. Uh, I mean, to be fair, that rifle, that grenade, sort of might have been a lot better used against some, maybe it's some infantry later down the line when they're clumped on that bridge there but we're seeing vehicles now move their way straight down the tracks there to put pressure on the back of the italian line tanks still there between that sort of alpha and charlie i mean it's a big bonch point having the tank there on those sort of coal carts you can see quite a lot of them out there and put the pressure on delta and i think that's what Foki's like really struggling with right now he can't really move out where he is uh, when he does, he just gets smacked by uh, three KSA players on the top of the bridge there. KSA really putting in some pressure, and uh, that Italian tank now having to fall back because uh, those bazookas are coming in thick and fast. And I think despite him drawing attention to himself, he did buy uh, Italy a little bit of time to hold C from an attack uh, coming towards them from KSA now. And Italy's going to be right back on the point. Italy's main flag is like the whole is a D. So if they didn't keep these, they should be okay because the sight lines are so huge. You control the bridge, you can basically see the entire map. So that seems to be what Italy is gunning for here. So we'll see if they can manage to pull that out. Yeah, I think it, if, if I'm honest at this point, Delta is such a low flag on the map here. Um, you only... They're throwing so many players on that Delta flag. To me, I think they should be holding that Charlie, pushing the Alpha a lot more. Putting that pressure on, KSA are just happy to send those same three or four guys and they're really getting under the Italian skin here. And Italy's still struggling on this Charlie flag. I think they've been trying to contest it since we last left it. And they're all fighting on the outside of the flag and it's not really benefiting the team as much. Now the tank is also there putting the pressure on. Right, and KSA's tanker is nothing to sneeze at as well. Um, very, very uh, hard-hitting player always. Um, playing objectively when you can. Uh, quite a dangerous force, honestly. One of the most dangerous tankers in the BF Nations right now. And you can see that here, even though he is in a sort of a disadvantage here, he's, I'm, I'm not sure if he's keeping this cool, but I would like to assume he is. Well, so, I mean, like, that ability to fall back like he just did then, while attacking and falling back, it's allowed his team to sort of get a, a bit of movement on to fall back to him get the repairs in and that takes a lot of skill there you, you know falling back and attacking while trying not to hit every obstacle behind you it's it's something that i sort of really envy coming from a more infantry focused combat role um that these tankers really can pull off and it makes a massive difference but italy now taking charlie i think that pressure really worked for them Right, and I don't actually know what happened to KSA's tanker there. I don't know if he went down or he ended up backing off, but that opened up Charlie a little bit more. But we do see him coming back. Uh, speak of the devil himself, uh, he is back and he is better than ever with uh, KSA forces taking the flag right back. So there goes Charlie from Italy's hands. Yeah, and as Italy now start to lose Charlie, they're starting to lose Delta. They're reclaiming Echo here. I mean, 
They had so many players onto Charlie. I have no idea how KSA managed to get some guys on there. And thank you, Fly uh, Flies Alley, for following and joining the action. You're going to be seeing a lot more from PFN in the future here. Jumping back onto the game, we're back with Madness on the Delta Bridge. Do you reckon they can break this setup from KSA, Matumba? Uh, it, it's really in a deadlock sort of situation here because both teams uh, objectively and when it comes to gun players So I would say evenly matched to a degree But I think KSA has a slight advantage when it comes to a uh, play, playing objectively even though they are sort of the same I just think the callouts uh, I, I would assume the callouts on KSA are a little bit better and that's gonna cause uh, Maybe easier uh, takedowns maybe easier team shooting. So I think KSA may be Keeping this for a while and as, and as you mentioned that Echo's now starting to go down for Italy as they start to commit more players onto that Charlie flag here. And they're entering a really dangerous position here. If Echo goes down and KSA get that spawn point behind Charlie, they're just going to get sandwiched on the flag and that's no position any team wants to be in. They have to get in this and have to re-secure it. They're managing to hold it steady for now, just stacking players on the flag. But, you know, seeing Foki here with the Italians having to move himself out into the open. KSA really, really yeah. causing problems for this Italian team right now. Italy managing to uh, restore control of Charlie, but now Delta's going down. KSA just really likes to put on this pressure, keeping the Italian on their toes, and they, they just can't stay anywhere for too long. Well, I think it's interesting. Uh, I think Italy right now holds uh, map control when it comes to mid-map. We're looking at D here, and D's just been uh, swiped clean. For Italy now, there's one more KSA waiting for spawns down there. We'll see what he can do. It is Kobe, a good friend of mine. Um, we'll see if he waits for spawns. Uh, maybe his team will spawn on him, maybe not. But uh, again, uh, Italy's very, very aggressive, and I think KSA is more or less using that uh, aggressiveness against them with a brains over brawn sort of approach to it. Yeah, for sure. And now we're jumping onto Italy now as they push towards these coal carts between sort of the Delta and the Alpha flag here. They've moved off of Charlie, but that push is being absolutely destroyed right now. They've lost so many players. They were stacked with a four-man push here. And they're only just managing to recover from that pressure that was put on them. And now they're having to fall back to Delta and grab those revives. You know, that's four players that could have helped onto the Delta flag there to really secure that and keep that pressure going. Unfortunately, they were held up in the middle of nowhere. KSA doing a really good job of pulling these guys from left to right, left to right. And that's reflecting in the score at the moment. Italy is on the back foot, but we've still got a ways to go here. Um, we we'll have to see how things are going. I mean, only 20 points between the two teams, but that can make all the difference. Um, as we've seen in some of the previous rounds here, uh, the KSA only managing to bring themselves in here by sort of 33 points uh, from their sort of uh, final knockout stages. Right, and we look at this, and Italy is somewhat getting back map control uh, slowly over time. It is seeming to go more and more their way, and this is usually a uh, we saw against this uh, was watching the Spain game, and this is actually how it turned out at first. It was more or less uh, locked in. Spain did have an advantage, but eventually uh, Italy started pulling through, and that may be the case now. But uh, I can't count on KSA just yet because they are um, they are actually losing A as well. They did uh, Italy did get the back cap, so I'm actually sort of surprised. But maybe they're taking back A. This is. Uh, quite a display from Italy right now. Yeah, no, Italy managing to put this pressure on. I think KSA regaining this Charlie flag here. They are losing Delta at the moment, but they're putting that pressure onto Echo. I mean, that Echo pressure has been there since the beginning of the game here. We've seen the Italian tanker now moving into Charlie. I don't know how wise that is without help of some infantry. These 12v12s offer a lot more of the anti-tank support as you see in smaller game modes here. So we need to see uh, Akabash be a lot more careful with the way he's going. He's picking up a few key kills here, keeping them distracted. And what we need to see is a big push here. No Kano, thank you for following here and joining the action for BFN tonight. KSA versus Italy, we're neck and neck right now. Um, Matumbo, I mean, you mentioned earlier that this is kind of what happened between that Italy-Argentina game here. Italy managing to hold it level up and towards the very last minute. Um, do you think 
KSA are going to make the same mistake as Argentina or are we going to see Italy put that same sort of pressure last minute on make KSA have those mistakes that really caused them to lose flags quick and fast? Well, there's a saying, uh, practice doesn't make perfect. Perfect practice makes perfect. And I think uh, I think KSA sort of learned their lesson against Argentina. There's only so much you can do uh, with the people that you have. You're only as, uh, you know, as good as the players that surround you. And KSA finds that to their advantage because they play so well with each other. They play so cohesively. And I think that's going to work very, very well against Italy. Italy being a good, uh, a good team as is, but uh, I would say that when it comes to, you know, uh, the brains of the operation, I have to give it to KSA. KSA is always on top of it, uh, despite the situation. Even if they're losing, I still feel uh, like they are dominant uh, when it comes to game IT, game processing, and uh, map control overall. Yeah, for sure. And we're seeing KSA now put that pressure onto Delta. Although they are losing Charlie here, the kill feed is very much even right now. We're seeing a lot less of those uh, solid blue streaks uh, that we were seeing early on in the game here. As Italy really start to narrow this gap and uh, keep this pressure going. They were down to sort of like 500 points at the, uh, the beginning here. They managed to narrow it down to just 20. They've kept that going solidly for the past sort of one or two minutes here. And that just shows a lot of stamina. Um... Yeah. And, uh, yeah. Yeah, we're seeing Italy now start to really push into Delta. Sorry, we were getting a nice panning view there. I just wanted to take in the scenery for just one minute um, to see how the teams are laid out, really getting on the action. We saw Italy really stacking up players on that Delta to push into a absolute roadblock of a KSA team here. Only four guys here for KSA on this Delta flag on the bridge, and they're doing an absolutely amazing job keeping that pressure onto Italy. Right, and I think it comes down to uh, burning tickets now. The lead is a uh, very, very slight for, for KSA, excuse me. And I think Italy's plan now is to burn that down, whittle that down a little bit more. They could actually pull one out. It would be very, very close to see as they are losing E right now uh, to KSA. And remember, this is uh, Italy's favorite flag. This is their bread and butter. And um, we'll see what happens on E. And it seems E is just left, uh, left for KSA. So I don't really know what happened back there. They did have people, but I'm not sure what happened. Yeah, I think Italy went for, you know, they went for the Hail Mary. They were like, you know what, we've got that Charlie flag. Echo was under control at the time. And they just shoved everything they could into an Alpha and Delta push at the same time. It Unfortunately, here we see KSA holding on to Alpha. They managed to back cap that Echo flag there. It wouldn't surprise me if Charlie starts to get decapped very, very soon. So a lot of these KSA guys start dying. They'll be spawning on Echo moving in. Italy have got a lot of their players focused on just one guy right now. KSA just, they have this ability to, you know, really distract and bring in more players than are actually needed. And all of a sudden, that one player now turns into four. Italy think they can move out the way and go to other flags. And KSA just come out of nowhere with these big, massive pushes. Echo starting to get recapped now, as I assume some of those players move to that Charlie flag here. And Delta has got a lot of pressure on it from now. KSA again doing a very good job here. Right. Let me. So we so we look at the uh, the bridge control bit. Uh, bridge control was definitely the, uh, the the big big factor for this one right now. Um, and Italy, I would say, has had a slight advantage at first. I would say uh, KSA had it for a while, but now Italy is back where they uh, are really good at. It. That's definitely map control. But this is their map right here. I feel like this is their best map. And they are showing that right now as they have stolen the lead from uh, KSA. Yeah, and this just came to what you said. You know, we're already going down to that 300 tickets here. We're 200 tickets away from that. Italy have done a really good job just holding a neck and neck to the very end. And I think as a team, their stamina is very, very good. It's uh, And they're just worn KSA down. You know, it's that first 300 tickets going down. And uh, like I said, Italy have managed to steal the lead, but KSA now putting an immense amount of pressure onto Charlie. They're retaking Echo as well, leaving Italy with just Delta here. You know, what happened to that push, Matumba? Italy had everything in control here. It was their game to lose. And uh, K 
KSA have just come out of nowhere and turned that on its head. Right. And I think that comes down to uh, positioning. I think the positioning uh, right now is they are claiming Seaback currently and uh, taking out a tank. Excuse me, KSA's tanker did go down, uh, just to say that as a quick a note. Uh, we look at that, and that's going to open up part of the map here. And we look at the uh, the shifting and the uh, map rotations that Italy are very, very good at. And uh, I think the biggest reason for uh, the swinging uh, leads is due to uh, just map control and uh, the positioning. Italy's positioning has been a little bit uh, off from the past matches that we've seen. But right now, um, it seems that they are getting back into it, but at a very, very slow pace. And KSA is more or less taking advantage of that, even if they are down. But you can just see it. Jumping on KSA again with a big double kill from Nameless here as he starts to push onto that Delta flag. Italy really, really slow to react, but now they're jumping in four more guys, and that I think might be uh, the end of it, guys. Jumping into the replay here as we see Nameless moving in for that double kill. Double headshot as well, beautiful. Yeah. Absolutely amazing from Nameless there. Unfortunately for him, I do think he went down and very even on the flag here, Italy now started to stack a lot of players and guys on here. But now they still hold the lead. I mean, that's just amazing to me that Italy, even after such a aggressive push back from KSA, they're still in the lead and holding this game in their hands. Yeah, Italy wants it. Uh, you, you look from this team, the, the dedication from this team is absolutely immense. KSA as well, uh, such an amazing team, amazing people. Both teams want this just as bad, but we see in, in A and B are being taken by Italy right now. Italy wants this, and you can see that. Um, going for, uh, I don't know, B? I think B is the home flag, so I'm not too sure what's going on. Oh, okay. Yep. Now, hmm. we do believe just getting some information from the box there that KSA managed to pull that round at the very last minute there, winning by 10 oh, tickets. We'll confirm that in just a second for you guys. But we're just going to go recap like what we saw in that game right there. Of course, we saw some big kills, especially from like Nameless with that replay with that double headshot on the bridge. Absolutely amazing. But I just want to talk about the pressure that KSA were able to hold over Italy and how quickly they were able to bounce back from that attack. Italy managed to, out of nowhere, come in with a almost sort of full cap there. KSA only holding that alpha flag. Um, have you got any ideas as to why we saw KSA somehow bounce back from that and push Italy to just the Charlie cap? Uh well, that, that's mainly going to come down to uh, how KSA was set up on the map. We look at the map, we take a wide, wide look at the map. Um, even though Italy was managing to hold the map overall, the rotations uh, that KSA were making were getting around Italy's pushes. So basically every time they would push, or Italy would push, KSA would be behind them to uh, leak out or to counter push, um, etc. So I think it just... Okay. okay. <laughs> yeah, we're just we're just getting some information back in the box there. Really sorry, guys. It does look like it was Italy that managed to win by ten there. That last minute push that we were just breaking down, KSA weren't able to fully dissolve at the very end there, and Italy managing to take that game. We really do apologise about this, guys. Two very very close games, like teams here in this big epic game of the final on this 12v12 Conquest Summer Cup on the PS4 for Battlefield Nations, and it really comes down to the wire when you're talking about a sort of 300 or ticket game 10 tickets left really shows just how strong these two teams are and just how even they're making it right and that goes to show um despite both teams playing in uh absolutely bashing heads i would say uh, both of them never gave up they both played to the very very end so props for both sides and uh props to italy especially um Despite despite how it was looking at the end of the game, Italy managed to pull it off again, and that is very very uh, that's awesome. Uh, that's more or less a, more of an underdog match at that point. For that. I would I would consider for Italy, um, despite them making it to the finals. Uh, you, you looked at the end of the game, and it looks like KSA was going to take it, but Italy bounced back saying, "No, we want this, and we are going to take this," and they did just that. Yeah. Now, do you think that comes down to? Uh 
Italy just having more stamina as a team, being able to sort of withstand those failed pushes over and over and over again and just waiting for the mistakes of KSA? Or do you think just KSA just got ground down to the point where they just couldn't, couldn't they just couldn't compete on the flags anymore? They they were the ones getting drawn from flag to flag and just ending up wasting players. Like uh, what's your breakdown of this? Because you're I come from a lot of 5v5 background where things happen on such a small scale. The, these large scale combats really, you know, it takes a time to, an, a, to analyze these things. Um, like, how do you think that happened? Like, why did KSA end up losing that by 10 tickets? They were they were ahead for 75% of that game. Well, it, it comes down to uh, it, Italy's A game. So, especially from what you see, uh, I, I push the point that Italy's aggressive. And when there comes an aggressiveness, like, okay, you may fail one time with a push, but I'll keep coming back and I'll keep coming back. And that throws a lot of teams off guard because most people don't expect it. Like, hey, we cleared off the flag five times or three times. You, you wouldn't assume them to come back, but they're going to keep coming back in numbers. And I feel like that actually ended up wearing KSA down uh, over the match. They were, KSA is good. KSA is good throughout the entire match to keep it solid. But what you don't see is they haven't played a team as aggressive as Italy. I'm not sure if they played Italy before. Maybe I may have to get talk to you on that. I may have to get some insight on that. But um, I think Italy's whole thing is to wear down their opponent, get up in their face, let them know, hey, we're right here and we're going to stay right here, even if you push us off once or twice. Well, going back to whether the two teams played, they played in the group two. Um stages okay. of the tournament here and KSA managed to narrowly win by 105 to 88 so it's still a very very strong side there uh, right. from those two teams you know Italy unfortunately lost the game allowing KSA to go flawless so I think they're out for a bit of revenge here they both played each other before they know what to expect and I think things are going to get very very interesting KSA really wanting to win this and keep that sort of win streak going and for those of you just joining here, this is the Battleful Nations Summer Cup 12v12 final conquest on the PS4. I'm a wild time, joined by Matumba, and we'll be jumping in with some more action very, very shortly. That was the first map, Narvik. Yep. And it was a fantastic game from both sides. I'm very, very proud. Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and we are back. You're joined by your host tonight, a wild time and Matumba for the Battlefield Nations Summer Cup 12v12 final. KSA narrowly taking the first round of Narvik by 10 tickets. We are now swapping sides here, and we're going to see if KSA can come back with the same aggression and the same force that Italy did. Italy were just attacking non-stop sometimes to the detriment of their own flags there they got back captain echo a few times but we really need to start to see ksa shore up those defensive maybe play with a more aggressiveness than we saw them playing in that first half there both tankers if you're interested very very strong players here and uh yeah we've seen some very very strong guys um matumba after watching that first round what do you think is going to happen now I, I think it relatively may be the same. Um, but from what I'm saying, I don't think it will change much. I think it will be just as close. Um, but I think teams are going to change up the strategies to some degree. Uh, both teams are probably going to be a little bit more aggressive. Um, Italy's probably going to be even more aggressive, if not, than they already were. Uh, because the the exploitation with how tough Italy is as a team 
if they, you know, if, when they probably, you know, when they got told or whenever they saw, hey, we won by this amount of tickets, let's make the lead even bigger. That's exactly the thought process that I'm guessing that Italy is going to be coming with. We want to, we just want to wear down this team. And I think it, uh, KSA's response to that is they're just going to have to play to Italy. They want, they want Italy to do what they want them to do. Um, they have to play into KSA's trap, quote, quote, um, to win this game. Yeah, and we need to start. To, I think what we need to see KSA happening, like I say, is just taking some of these punches from Italy, wrap round, and then pinch them in. We saw that they had a really good pinch opportunity there on one of the Charlie flags not long before the like that big push from Italy came in and they didn't make that opportunity sort of known. They didn't take that opportunity there and it gave a really, really good setup for this Italian side. What I am keen to see is if Italy can hold that bridge as effectively as KSA did. I mean, they were on it. There wasn't a single moment when that bridge wasn't filled with KSA players and that really put a lot of pressure on that Delta flag there. Um, so yeah, it's going to be a really, really interesting game. And for those of you just joining, we are in round two. Italy taking the first round by 10 tickets here. We've got two maps for you to play tonight. First is going to be Narvik. We're going to be finishing that off with this round here. And then we're jumping onto Mercury, which should be very, very interesting indeed here. KSA, Italy, both very, very strong teams. They faced off before. KSA narrowly winning that one, but now they're both back into the final and things are about to kick off. We're taking a quick look at the lovely countryside of Narvik here, back into the burning buildings of that Charlie flag and down into the dockside by the coals of Delta. That's where we're going to see the most of our action here as teams push very, very aggressively out of their spawns. Right, now I do have to say, um, something that I forgot to mention as well is the uh, the vehicles, uh, the planes, your pilots, your pilots are your best friend uh, this game. By far, um, if you can get air, uh, air superiority, the team, you can let, you can basically inform the entire team where you're at, where you know where everyone's at, you can map control as well. Uh, easy map control because you can basically spot the map even though you can't you know, actually spot the map. Um, so, it could very, very well come down to, that may have been a big factor when it came to that game as well, uh, the pilots. Pilots are very, very, uh, I would say underappreciated when it comes to, uh, competitive. They don't get all the light, but I'm more than willing to, uh, say that they are a big, big game. Yeah, no, I completely agree with you there. I mean, coming back from my Conquest experience in Battlefield 1, the pilots were on it 24-7, harassing the tanks, calling out where the infantry squads were going. And on a map like Narvik, where knowing where big pushes are coming from, especially against open ground like Delta, your pilot can call that out to you, you can get those spawns in quick, reinforce that bridge area, and you're able to hold that for a lot longer than you normally would here. And I do think we are going to start to see KSA putting a lot of pressure onto this Charlie flag here. And things aren't going too well for them. Italy really holding on, now starting to retake Charlie and getting those revives in as well. KSA from the get-go are now on the back foot and they need to break Italy somewhere and show Italy that, hey, we're not pushovers, you beat us by 10 tickets, we're going to be in this to the end. Right, and it's going to boil down to who wants it more. work. Uh, I say that time after time again, but it, it's really how it's looking right here. Um, KSA, I know KSA wants it, I know it'll want it, but just, there's going to be that one team that just wants it a little bit more. We're going to show it in this game. Um, because I feel like this is a very, very big placeholder because the map differences, Narvik and Mercury are completely two different maps. And I think that Narvik's a very, very important map. You want to win your Narvik games. Narvik is a very, very hard map to win when you're playing a very, very good team. So whoever wins here could swing some momentum into the Mercury maps. I completely agree with you there, but we're just going to take a recap of what happened just then. KSA managing to fill that bridge with sort of six, seven members there, and they were able to retake that flag, but that left a lot of the other positions very thin on the map there, with Italy managing to sort of try and hold that echo flag. But as you can see, KSA are swarming it. 
tankers are there, infantry's there, would be surprised that the plane strafed that a little bit as well. Italy somehow managed to hold on for as long as they did, but now they need to take this opportunity, push towards the centre of the map, apply that pressure to Charlie before this force from Echo comes in to reinforce. Uh, it's not doesn't look like it's going to happen. They're too slow off the mark here. So many guys on Alpha being trapped by these guys on the bridge there. They're really trying to retake it. KSA executed that one perfectly. Right, and I think now that um, KSA has opened up the map for themselves a little bit more, now they can put the back foot on um, on Italy's neck right here. This is very, very big. Uh, this is going to be a very sizable ticket drain, maybe 30 tickets um, now. Uh, 25, but any tickets count, especially with how close that the game is right now. And Italy, Italy just needs to lure um, themselves. They're not Italy. KSA just needs to lure Italy into their trap, basically. And that's exactly what they're doing. They want the map controlled first. If they can hold the map controlled, we've seen it last game. They can hold it for a substantial amount of time and lead those tickets over a substantial amount of time. Yeah, and now what we need to see from KSA is they've managed to get this 30 ticket lead ahead, which is huge considering the last game was won by 10 tickets. They need to keep this now, keep those flags contested. And unfortunately, that's not happening. They're nearly down to pretty much no flags left here. As we've seen Bravo, the favor of Italy. Charlie, the favor of Italy. Delta, the favor of Italy. Italy now putting pressure on this alpha flag as well. KSA really, really missed a big opportunity there. But, you know, it's all about how you bounce back from that and how the players are around the map. I see one guy can easily get um, a really big push going off just by being in the right place, allowing teams to spawn in. Panzerfaust and grenades coming into the building there and Nameless going down this time. Our replay from last, last game going down in the replay this time. Italy now starts to lose control of the majority of the flags here and they managed to knock that 30 ticket difference down to just one or two. Right, and we, we take a look at this, the pilots are doing, over, uh, doing their virtual dance, of course, and Delta is going to be pushed heavily by KSA, four, maybe five KSA. Italy saying, no, you're not taking this, but it may be looking bleak for Italy here on the flag. Uh, Bakes pushing in right there. Very, very respected player coming in with his squad. It looks like it's going to be a clean slate for D, maybe one or two to resist the uh, the force here. But it may uh, be all for nothing as KSA wants this flag and they are showing it right here with this uh, group of numbers. Yeah, for sure. Uh, and you know what? I don't think Italy have managed to defend that Delta flag as much as we saw KSA did in the first round there. And I don't know whether that's their strategy. You know, less players on Delta means we've got more on Charlie. And if we have more people on Charlie, it's going to allow us to bounce between Alpha and Echo a lot more efficiently. A lot more pressure on those tanks there. And I definitely think that maybe what they're doing is kind of working for them because KSA are really struggling to keep up with things right now. You know, the tanks had to respawn is now all the way back at Alpha doing nothing for the team here and a lot of their players instead of being on those nice pairs and uh, sort of uh, trios getting those good trades going they're all on their own and they're just getting picked off one at a time by italy right and we're looking at the uh, the lead the lead for italy is growing more and more and uh, that is not what you want to see especially with the position that you're in now any tickets uh, are extremely important no matter if it's one or you know a thousand they are all important in their own way and KSA needs to at least bring it maybe 10, 20 tickets closer, but the lead drops to about 50 or 60. This one may be over uh, just in due time, and that is not what KSA wants. They need this. They desperately need this. No I completely agree with you there, and we're just going to take a look at those flags up at the top there. Italy owning everything right now. But KSA putting pressure back onto Alpha, putting pressure back onto Delta. But it's a real struggle at the moment. We're seeing, we're seeing Alpha, a lot of smoke coming in, a lot of explosions coming in, knocking out key positions in the buildings. And they're tying up a few of those key KSA players on the flag. Their bodies flying over the mounds of snow there. Revives coming in. KSA narrowly managing to take back that Alpha flag. 
but they've lost everything else and that's going to be detrimental to your score now uh, italy sitting at 674 ksa down by almost 40 to 50 tickets here right and that comes back down to a positioning uh, italy's positioning has been perfect uh, this whole round so far and this is exactly what Italy wanted to do. They're wearing down KSA. It looks like KSA is a somewhat, quote, you know, quote unquote, weakened right now. It's just they're playing uh, a lot more conservatively. They all had to uh, basically uh, push uh, A just to get an opening. And now they seem to be getting feedback. We're looking at the tank here, Romux uh, from KSA, beautiful tanker. Um, it's just this is not going according to plan for the team. This is just very, very uh, showing to what Italy's good at, I'm just wearing down teams and it is showing this match. Yeah, and we're starting to see now KSA take control of that center map now. Holding Charlie is going to be absolutely key. They've got the pressure of the tank now on the backside by Echo, and that's going to cause some issues for Italy. You know, it's getting some really good uh, sources damage in there allowing the infantry to get really easy kills as they push in those close quarters environments ksa reacted to that very very quickly stabilizing alpha grabbing charlie losing uh, making italy lose echo here delta going down for italy as well ksa are not out of the fight but we are seeing alpha switching into way back of italy here you know italy really putting the pressure on and making ksa work for every inch Right, and now the lead is uh, about 50 right now in favor of uh, Italy. But now that's going to be wore down maybe up to about like 30 or 20 tickets because of this four cap uh, here that we were seeing. <laughs> and very, very nice work. Very, very good rotations by uh, KSA. As Delta may actually be being take back right now, I, I think it's a three on one in favor of Italy. So taking back D, this may be a. This is going to open up the map if. KSA loses D, so let's hope that they don't lose that. Um, and it seems it's really, really tight right now. I just can't figure out who's going to win this one. And I, I think it's going to be Italy, honestly. Well, you know, Italy are up at 639 to 597. It's kind of their game to lose at this point. If they do not keep the pressure up and they get overconfident, we'll see KSA quickly get those tickets back. We saw how quick it was for Italy to take this from sort of a one or two tickets all the way up to the likes of 40, 50, 60 tickets here. It took a matter of less than a minute for that to happen. And if KSA can replicate that recipe, apply that sauce on this map and try and keep that pressure on Italy moving forward, KSA could end up taking this one. But if they lose this now, it's going to put an absolute ton of pressure onto them for the next map of Mercury. Something us as casters aren't too familiar with, but we're super excited to see happen here. But Narvik isn't over just yet. As KSA start to narrow that gap down, holding sort of the majority of flags here and putting a ton of pressure onto Delta as well. So we look at the map, we take a, a vast, vast view of the uh, mid-map area here. And mid-map is just, uh, it's being controlled by sort of a standoff between both sides right now. Uh, KSA wants to get back on the D, and uh, Italy's just sitting there as well waiting, saying, come get us, uh, we're waiting. And we're going to have to see how that pans out. That is going to be very, very interesting. Uh, D seems to be the point of action for uh, both of these teams. They really, really want this flag. Well, I think for KSA, it's a really important flag to hold. If they can grab D, it's going to allow them to wrap around all the way to the likes of Charlie and Echo here. Italy not letting it happen, and I think that's a mistake for KSA. They're hitting flags, and they're spending too much time on them. Thank you for the follow, Progen. Thank you for joining the action tonight against these two massive teams in the final. We are grabbing some plain gameplay there, something we don't usually see, but you can understand the eyes these guys have on the battlefield right now being able to see where this infantry is being able to strafe areas and put pressure on the tanks is something that you just can't underestimate changing the weather real quick for y'all for y'all's viewing experience there we go that's a little bit better so we're back into the action here in ksa uh back to see 
saying uh, we are back again. Uh, very, very interesting here is uh, we see not Paz. Paz has been the uh, anchor for Italy on uh, C, and Paz just killing four or five maybe off the C. Uh, destructful player. Uh, he did have, a, I think, a six or seven piece earlier. Just the anchor of C for Italy right now, and he will eventually go down, unfortunately. Yeah, and as we as that happens, we start to see KSA take control of Delta. Romox there with the tank, really putting that pressure on forcing Italy to move away, but Panzerfaust coming in thick and fast. While that's happening, we are going to see them take Charlie and Echo as well, pushing Italy back to just this Delta flag and this Alpha flag here. And things are going to start to go rough for Italy if they don't maintain control of that centre map. Look at the line KSA have set now. Italy well and truly trapped in Delta. But Alpha's still a very strong spawn point for the Italians. If they can get on their run to Charlie, they can pop this KSA trap that is set. So we see um, Italy still holding D, holding firm, uh, saying last game we uh, struggled a little bit, this game, uh, no, no. Um, and right now it's been fluent for uh, Italy. Is Italy's been holding a 20-ticket uh, lead for for uh, a vast, a vast area, a vast majority of the match here, and I do believe it's 560 to 536, 555, excuse me. Um, and the ticket lead's going to drop down even more. And now uh, Italy's reduced down to about a, a flag now, so we'll see uh, how KSA responds to that. Is I actually think that Italy's taking C as well. Uh, yes, they are um, coming right in and saying hello. And that's that quick response that KSA lacked at the beginning of the game that caused such a huge gap between the two teams for as long as it did. Italy immediately back on the attack, back on those flag caps here. But KSA doing a really good job disrupting that now as T-Mix comes in, takes out one, now moves into the building, re-challenging a second there. Asa goes down. That's a huge kill against the Italians taking out such a powerhouse like that. KSA out of nowhere have come in with some amazing gameplay and the Italians are feeling it. And saving uh, saving the point, more or less. Uh, we see the show here, boom, right there, taking the uh, point back and that's going to neutralize the flag and get KSA in there. Uh, absolutely beautiful play and saving the flag for his team. Uh, that's a uh, MVP worthy moment right there. Yeah, and you know, 12 v 12 there's so much happening on the map, only we can focus on such tiny minute about it. But KSA as a team have come together at the sort of last minute and they narrowed down that difference to just 10 odd tickets, which is huge when there's not much left in the game. And Italy now starting to really have to fight for Echo here. We're seeing uh, IAPS here just swarmed by KSA guys all around him. Delta is now starting to have a bit of pressure from the Italians. Alpha being captured by KSA. KSA are everywhere at once. And I think the Italians are really struggling to find a decent setup, decent positioning. They don't really know what to do with themselves at this point, at least from our point of view. Right, and I think uh, finally, uh, he is going to be taken back again uh, as well. If you look at the map rotations, KSA's map rotations uh, right now have been uh, successful all around and KSA uh, just the one fly they haven't been able to get to is D and D is still I, I still believe that they need D uh, they do hold a lead now they hold a four ticket lead and they, they need D D is the biggest spot for them they will give them such a vast you know array of uh, ways to go through the map but I, I'm not sure uh, what KSA plans on doing yeah I mean KSA for me, uh, my strat would be right now is to grab Charlie, uh, put pressure on that sort of alpha flag, keep the pressure on, and just keep Italy pinned onto that alpha and delta flag. Just, just right. keep them there. And you know, if you can capture alpha, leave a few guys, maybe put the tank there to put the pressure on from the respawn, from the home spawn there. And mm. it, you know, shooting down into the delta flag, it's. It's such an easy thing to do, and if KSA are able to pull that off, we're really going to start to see Italy hurt. But Italy now putting pressure onto Charlie, looking for some mid-map control. They lost Alpha now, 
as well. And they're not looking too hot as KSA have just taken the lead at 500 to 495. Matumba, this is getting very down to the wire. It, it's it just, it's so close. And that's the part that puts you on the edge of your seat because you don't actually, you don't know who's going to win um, between these two teams because they're so evenly matched in my, uh, in their own, you know, retrospect. They are so, so good at what they do. It just coincides so well and it turns into a beautiful match like this. And KSA have done exactly what the Italians did to them in the first round here. They were on the back foot for 75 to 80 percent of the game, and at the last minute, they've swung in and they're about to take it. 30 tickets left in the game here. Italy are playing for everything. It's 479 to 490. Italy can't afford to lose a single flag here. They need to put pressure onto Charlie. They need to cap it. KSA have to put everything into this now. And they're decapping Delta as well. They might be putting in the final nail in the coffin for the Italy side. But with 12, 25, 30 tickets left in the game, everything's still to play for. Right, and, I, and Italy is going to play for this uh, ticket right here. They they are getting, um, but they are losing the unfortunately. Italy is going to play for this uh, ticket for, and they want to keep it as close as possible. Even if they lose this game, I don't think that they'll lose this game by much. Um, at this point, the, the ticket difference is one. So even if they do lose this game, it's nothing to uh, it's nothing to be upset over. Uh, as long as they can mitigate this ticket lead or even win, uh, I do believe that they very well could win this game. I mean, at this point, if KSA were able to take back Delta, they could turn this into a draw question mark. But we are seeing Italy now with a last ditch push as they even things out, start to take the lead. Delta now going into their favor. If they can grab this before Charlie goes down, they'll get those crucial tickets down off of KSA's score here. And things are looking very bleak for KSA. They had a moment of pure glory where they clawed it back and now it's 467 to 463 KSA down by seven tickets here tank going down there in a blaze of glory on this charlie flag as KSA managed to secure the point there but unless they can grab delta they are not going to be able to take this game it's 466 to 452 Italy are going to take the second round of this PS4 final in the BFN Summer Cup. Narvik goes to Italy 2-0. Well done to those guys, Matumba. What do you think of that game there? Absolutely down to the wire. Yeah, same for the first match. It, it's absolutely astounding what these teams can do and how they can play. They play it to the point. They play it because they want. And um, it, Italy, Italy came out and said, hey, we lost to y'all before and we're not going to lose y'all again we want this and they get to roll into mercury uh mercury excuse me with some uh really really good momentum props to them and um well played by ksa as well yeah i mean 26 tickets it gives ksa some breathing room for the next two rounds here you know we did see them lose the map as a whole but 26 mm. tickets can easily be made up in two rounds on Mercury where things can go very, very differently. The map setup's a lot different. Um, but we just got to wait and see how things play out here. I think for me, sort of Italy did a very good job recovering from KSA's push. And I think they did what they did in the first round there. Hey, let's let KSA get overconfident. Let's let them think that they're going to win. And then out of nowhere, we're going to put some players in key positions, spawn on them and get the kills here. And things went extremely, extremely well. Uh, for those of you just joining, I'm a wild time joined by my co-host Matumba here for the Battlefield Nations Summer Cup 12v12 final. We're joined by Italy and KSA. Both teams have had a long journey through the group stage and through the knockout. And although they played each other in the group stage in KSA 1, Italy are out for blood. And what a game to be out for blood in, in the final. Are they going to take this or KSA going to manage to win the next two maps with over 26 tickets? It's going to be a very, very close one. Right, and next game, it's uh, Mercury's a completely different map, so this could be a completely different landscape. 
Um, it could be total domination from one team, or it could be just as close as it was in Narvik. And um, do I believe that it will be close? Yes, but I am uh, I'm not sure uh, at the same time. Because both teams, like I said, so similar, so similar play styles. You just don't know how the story is going to end. Exactly. And while we've got the time now while we're waiting for teams to burn down, we've talked a little bit about the previous two rounds and how that went for both teams and sort of individual players. We saw some really good replays there. I think Nameless was in the first round with a double headshot kill there. And then some of the KSA players taking out some of the big Italian names on Charlie, holding that flag, which allowed them to then bounce on to put Italy on the back foot here. Now, I'm going to question you, Matumba, about Mercury. I'm not too familiar with it in the Conquest side of things. From what you know um, outside of the competitive environment, how do you think the map is going to play out with these two teams playing on it? Uh, what, what are we going to be looking for? Well, C is definitely a world the action will be at. Maybe C or D. Um, D and C are generally the most populated points, uh, competitively and competitively. Uh, they're the hardest to fight over because there is a lot of a flanking. The areas are so open. There's so many lanes you can take. There's so many routes you can hold. Um, it's it's going to come down to more or less rotations, uh, but it has to be very, very fluent rotations because every objective is uh, more or less spread out evenly. So it should be uh, it should be wh whoever team can hold the rotations better, they should be able to win the game. Yeah, now you talk about the rotations there, when you say that it's something that Italy have done very, very well in these first two rounds of the rotations. KSA do a very good job of setting good defences, putting on good mass attacks going through, but in the long game that only helps you in that particular situation. I mean, Italy might be able to make more sense of that in the uh, second half of this final on Mercury, where we start to see things going very, very differently here. And we're just going to go back through the previous uh, games. And those scores for both teams were looking very huge when we're talking playing against other countries. We're playing against each other, things were straight down to the wire. And it's, it's just amazing to see these, these teams play. The aerial combat has been amazing and both pilots have been on point. Tank combat and the skill of the tankers has been next to none. And I've been extremely impressed about what they can do. And the infantry combat, more in the team player things, has been absolutely amazing. Seen a lot of smoke coming in, a lot of revives. And teams just learning when to hold the push, wait for the respawns, and then move into the flags. It's something very different from the 5v5 gameplay I'm used to, and it's quite nice to see it, especially with these two teams. Yep, and we take a, we, we're taking a little bit of a closer look at things, and, you know, me uh, coming from more or less larger uh, scale battles here, primarily Conquest, uh, as a Conquest player, I would say, I would consider myself one. Uh, it's just it, it comes the the cohesion the the cohesion means so much um both both teams pilots uh especially the pilots Merc mercury being a pilot on mercury if you can maintain their aer uh, aerial superiority you can see the whole map um everything is easy peasy i would say um as a pilot on that map <laughs> you know yeah. yeah that's the best way i can describe it if you can control the air you can uh, absolutely dominate the ground because there is actually um there's not many ways to act uh, i mean the the aa could be a problem for the pilots considering how far the range is it's absolutely ridiculous in my opinion but um i i think the pilots i think of actually oh <laughs> Yeah, and uh, cheers Booster DA for joining the action here for the Battlefield Nation Summer Co Conquest 12v12 final. I'm your host, A Wild Time, joined by Matumba. We'll be taking a short ad break here before we jump into the next map, Mercury. Yep, it'll be fun. See you guys after the
And welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to the second half of tonight's final. We played two rounds of Mercury, of, of Novik. Now we're on to two rounds of Mercury. Thank you, Jam Jam, for joining us. What a perfect time to be joining. Myself, a wild time, and Matumba. And everything's down to the wire for KSA, isn't it, Matumba? It's, it's really their own destiny at this point. They have to control their own destiny. Uh, the goal for now... Uh, from what it seems, is to not let Italy rewrite what um, KSA considers their final history, their history set in stone. Um, the the goal for now is to just strive uh, to hit in stride and uh, take those points back. The The point deficit isn't that big. It really is not. And it could be a total domination from KSA or even Italy this game, but you can't see that. You have to see one side pull through here. Yeah, I mean, we'll go back to their previous game during their group stage here, and we saw KSA win 105 to 88. You know, that's less than 30 tickets between the two teams there. So what we're seeing here isn't something too dissimilar to what was happening in the group stages, and we could be seeing KSA come back with a vengeance. Narvik is, I would say, probably one of the... Uh, the more well-known maps to play teams know what to do here and it's just a matter of game style that really dictates what's going to happen mercury is a mystery to me so i'm curious to see what happens here and i hope you guys watching are curious to see as well for those of you just joining i'm a wild time joined by matumba we're in the battleful nation summer cup conquest 12v12 final italy versus ksa Italy took the first two rounds with a 26-ticket deficit against KSA. So they're going to be with a little bit of a lead there. They've got a, they've got a tiny fraction of comfort there as well. Um, and Mercury is going to just be awesome. We'll leave it off with Matumbi here to start us off into this action. What do you think are going to be the opening plays? The opening plays for me um, are definitely going to be C and D. Um, C and D, the most important points by far. Most action, most uh, ferocity between the two sides is going to take place over these objectives. Um, C, the highest point on the map, of course. If you control C, you can see the entire map. You can see everything, uh, into every like little nook and cranny even. So uh, I think C is going to be the play for both sides here. Um, but I think that maybe perhaps, I think Italy's going to push C maybe harder than uh, KSA. And uh, I say that because they, they want map control. And you can be very, very aggressive on this map if you set it up right. Yeah, I completely agree with you. That high ground on any map makes such a difference. And we saw KSA take advantage of that, looking down into Delta. And they really slapped Italy around a fair bit there. If we can start to get some of these uh, LMG players now on the top of the map aiming down, into the delta and echo flag or delta flag there it's going to make things really hard to move around but teams very slow off the bat here not moving into anything and you know i think like say italy very aggressive i think we might be missing a player i think we might just be waiting for him to jump in but italy being very aggressive trying to hold the key position is going to be a big thing for them and those pilots calling out the push up the hills are going to be huge right and take a look at these houses while you still can because i will guarantee you that most of these houses will not be here anymore after a couple minutes into this match as well um a good prime place to hold the objectives is the houses once again um but people will soon realize that uh people don't want you up there and they are going to blow up those houses so enjoy the view while you still can <laughs> Yeah, and you know, while we're waiting for players to jump in and the game to get started, let's talk about some of those replays that we saw in the first half of the game here. We saw an amazing double kill from Nameless in the beginning here, and now we're going to be jumping on to C-Mix as he jumps in, takes out one of the Italians, turns around and takes out Buffalo Acer there, who is a huge, big hitter for Italy and still managed to go down Mix doing a massive job. And we knew that was a huge turning point in the game for the KSA team there. And again, that first the first one with the double headshot on the bridge, moving into the second one with the well-executed Panzerfaust, forcing player into the window, headshot right before the taking there. I think both teams have spawned in now and they're raring to go. We're going to have 
Italy here in the red, KSA in the blue. Very easy for you guys to see that one. And the action is going to begin. Things are going to be slow coming off here, but Italy moving quick up to Charlie here. Madness is going to be the one to be first on the scene for that. And it's going to be very, very tight right here. Very, very straight between the two sides. This house uh, won't be here much longer as well. This is actually where most of the action takes place. Um, because this is a good spot for cover, a good uh, spot for control over C. Because you can hold C from this little house and you can camp inside of it, you can peek through it. Um, it's a very, very good position as well as the satellite tower. You can actually go inside the satellite tower and you can see. Um, and that is uh, going to be a place that people are going to hold until it gets destroyed. Well, we saw um, Madness take out Mix there as more KSA players are around the map. Madness going for that risky revive around the back here. And we're just going to have to see how things play out. He's still on the flag. Panzerfaust is coming in and grenades knocking down the buildings. Madness doing a good job of staying alive on this Charlie flag here. And we're just going to have to wait and see how the game develops for Italy. Um, KSA were on that pretty quick as well with three guys already on to Charlie. Right, and the aggressiveness is key, um, for sure. And Italy going right back at it. Um, they want the flag. And it's plain and simple that uh, I assume just as much as they were going to do. They want C. Uh, they can see the entire map now. They can see exactly where uh, KSA wants to go. And that is not what uh, KSA wants in their best interest. And I do assume that there will be a counter push coming for C from KSA very, very soon as well to uh, meet them. Yeah, and as we see that starting off this game, Italy going hard and fast, taking that Charlie flag. But with Delta going down in favour of KSA, Buffalo Isa moving down the hill. Unfortunately, going down to a hail of bullets from the buildings there as KSA start to set up a very strong defence on this Delta flag. Italy now moving in with those smokes, pushing in. Matex is going to be the next one. Looks like these Buffalo guys moving around as a nice, solid squad. KSA are going to have to be on it like a car bonnet. Dynamite going out for KSA. And that's going to be Matix going down. They're slowing down this push inch by inch. But Madness and Ace are now moving into the flag. More dynamite coming in, knocking out those buildings. Italy are on Delta quicker than I expected. And that boils down to the, the aggressiveness. Um, KSA is going to hold this flag for as long as they can. And it seems that they're still holding it. Uh, all you see is blue in the uh, kill feed. Um, the push has been mitigated down from what it was seen to be a, a 2v6 to now a pretty even between both sides. As a Buffalo is going to take him out a uh, player as well, but he's going to go down to Nameless Man. And you just see this, the, the aggressiveness. Both sides have to play to their own pace. And that's exactly what Italy is doing. Italy is eventually going to take him as well. And um, I'm assuming they're going to push off and uh, help out C again or even push uh, out to another flag. But this is the really key thing here that we need to start seeing KSA okay, so do as they jump Ooh, over the walls. Beautiful. here with that double kill there. You know, just call, calling pull as uh, the clay pigeon jumps over and he gets an easy two piece there. You know, just look at this gameplay. At the wall, holding such a key position here. Those KSAs coming, takes out one quick reaction to the second there, and an easy one, two. And, you know, it's gameplay like that that's going to make things really nice and comfortable for Italy. KSA now holding Charlie. They're pulling Italy from left to right, left to right. But Italy still hold the lead here by two tickets, 460 to 456. Right, and C is eventually going to go down to a KSA, but remember, uh, Italy did abandon, more or less abandon the flag, and the whole team for Italy, it seems, is on uh, the objective. Even the tank is pushing Buffalo right into it, saying, I want a piece of the action. And we're looking at this uh, Buffalo. I don't know what just happened there. Uh, taking out two, actually, but KSA rushed them to the point in numbers, maybe eight or nine um, were on there, and Buffalo's going to take them out one. And he is just waiting for the right moment, but he's going to take on the tank by himself for what it seems. So uh, I don't know if that will work out for him. Oh, never mind. There's two. Yeah. And Whoa. While, yeah. While we're seeing KSA pull down the front end there, we're seeing Italy, the mountain men of dreams, climbing up the Charlie side of the hill, trying to get that flank on the tank. But things aren't working out too well. 
We're seeing Rumox there doing a really good job putting that pressure. Smokes are out. Italy having to fall back there. Things not looking too strong for them as KSA now move down to Delta to go for that triple cap and hold all of the points. Italy now on the back foot down by 20 tickets it could be very soon they're gonna be down by a lot more here nameless on that delta flag causing tons of issues we saw how deadly he was on that bridge with the sg44 here and he's really putting that same effort into mercury as well ksa taking this lead with force and with precision so the biggest problem that uh, happened with italy there's italy pushed uh D or C, excuse me, but they uh, had a failed push there, and that did cause some separation for KSA to get on the point. As Italy's going to come on Bravo, Bravo, the focal point is this house right here. This house is uh, where the boys play, and uh, the opening for KSA was perfect on on D there, and that's going to cause a cap. But Italy, Italy is uh, swarming on numbers there, and. We see uh, a support player here taking a shot with his AP grenade pistol. He's going to get taken out from behind. This is um, some actual decent, really, really good action on the point here. Holding it pretty tight between the two sides. Is I Maybe KSA will end up taking this point back, but I'm not quite sure. We'll have to see. Yeah, Italy have that stack. I mean, just look, even with these two KSA players on the flag here, it's still going in the favor of Italy. But kill after kill is coming in. Bravo is going down. We're going to take an overview to see what happens. Mix in the building with Acer. Looking to try and hold the flag. There flames and explosions happening below their feet. They need those respawns to come in now. They are on their own. Acer looking to try and suicide bomb. Fall through the ceiling there. And unfortunately does get taken out. I mean, that would have been pretty sick to see. That explosion coming in him taking out a double. But we are seeing KSA retake that Bravo flag. But they are losing Delta. Which for me, I think is the better flag option there. Holding Bravo. Holding that back end taking control of the top there get a tank back on top firing into delta things should be awesome right and now this tank is going to have a little cheeky position here on the point their uh three lanes to take a shot at the infantry does miss his first shell there he's going to shoot right through the building uh denying cover for ksa there is ksa is going to file in to uh D there and he is actually falling back to Italy. if we take a look out there at the uh, flag caps i want to know what happened there it seemed that KSA had control, but Italy were hesitant, and, um, hesitant to say no, and they come right back on the point and and absolutely just annihilate the uh, KSA forces quicker than I expected. Uh, well, I was just say, like just before we left to go back towards Delta, we saw two cheeky Italian players in the top of the mountain there, and they played the classic tactic of let's wait for KSA to move off of the flag, mm. and then we're just going to hit those respawns, push in put that pressure on but it's going to be all for nothing as we just seen Kersey retake that Bravo flag there right and the lead is growing more and more for KSA uh, despite the 26 uh, 26 ticket lead excuse me by Italy this this lead is getting really really out of hand here uh, in favor of KSA and Italy has to respond um, in some way and they have to respond fast they need this this lead is getting larger and larger i don't actually know the uh maybe 40 tickets uh 50 ticket lead right now this is absolutely turning in favor of ksa beautiful yeah and this is exactly what they wanted here hey italians have 26 tickets uh sod it we're gonna end up putting hard pressure on them on mercury taking that charlie flag have 40 tickets we've already got double what their lead was it's now going to be up to the italians to try and retake the game and they're doing it perfectly here as we start to see them put now more pressure onto delta the italians now starting to move up towards charlie smoke coming in thinking fast the tank for ksa trying to pick off kills but he's absolutely swarmed by these italian players as panzerfaust start coming in he needs that infantry to come and help him fast absolutely well played um on c there and he's going to be swarmed back with italians there um and ksa responding it seems to be a neutral cap between the two or a neutral agreement between the two for now until uh they start shooting and then rockets flying out of uh I don't know if it's rockets, but explosions of some sort uh, coming from the plane. And uh, Illusion trying to get the tank, trying to pick him up when throwing his grenade and not being 
push him there. He's gonna push him there anyway. KSA is gonna take the point back, but B is going to fall to a middle lead. And uh, well defended. Yeah, we see Simix there now moving in, getting those revives. Everything chaotic around in the tank somehow still alive for KSA. Really, really good squad play from that team as now now start to push back towards Bravo. Italy is setting up for the defense, but they're setting up on the wrong side here. Communication gone wrong, maybe. Players like Madness and Ace are on the flag there. A lot of these Buffalo guys are holding this Bravo flag. And this is going to be key. If they can hold this, keep the defense up, they can narrow down this lead KSA has, but they are going down in droves on bravo and delta delta now still in the ksa favor even though there are italians on point italy do have control of the air at the moment but it's doing them no favors italy uh the lead the lead is growing larger and larger for ksa ksa by a whopping 60 tickets this is more than enough to take the round and just keep the entire series away from italy um you cannot let this happen this, I think this win would ultimately, I, I don't think it would seal things, but I think it would make things a lot harder for the opposing team ever wins because of how close it is. If KSA keeps building a lead like this, this is going to turn out really, really bad for Italy. Yeah, and we're seeing these Italians go down left, right, and center. Smart Soldier picks up one, unfortunately going down to the Italians here. That's the last man on Delta gone for KSA. They are now still trying to keep push for this Bravo flag, but we are seeing more and more aggressive gameplay now back from KSA onto Delta. Still people on Charlie filtering their way down. Illusion doing a good job with the defense. They need to break that two-man building there. They're getting nailed in the back as they push up. We are now going to see uh, Rumorox there on this Bravo flag. KSA needed the extra help. Italy with only a few plays left on Acer trying to take on the tank on his own. Unfortunately, Romox has got some other ideas there. Puts a shell straight through his face as uh, Italy starts to lose control of Bravo. Now, the lead still is in favor of uh, KSA there by 50 tickets, it seems. The lead has been cut down some, uh, like somewhat. But I think it just comes down to adjusting for this map. I'm watching it unfold right now. It's played out uh, sort of similarly to what we were expecting. But it seems that the uh, total domination is just really, by uh, KSA, just absolutely perfect. It seems that Italy is more or less lost. If the whole team uh, is <laughs> between Charlie Delta for Italy. Is Here comes the Hound sending the entire forces only in battlefield moment right here as you see the whole squad push in perfectly lined up a beautiful push coming in and they're going to take me uh absolutely wonderful yeah matix coming in through the smoke there gets a good kill in the building covering his teammate fascia jumping off like batman doesn't need to but what an attacking force that was from italy we saw some really hard slayers come in and they hit kill after kill after kill i mean Fascia with that aggressiveness jumping off the building, they desperately want this. But the moment they jump off of Charlie, we are going to start to see KSA retake the flag. And that's going to go really poorly for them. KSA so the defense, this defense is very, very interesting by uh, KSA. KSA holding C now. KSA has been... Uh, holding C for a majority of the match now. Madness is going to push up now, wanting to get a piece of the action as well. Uh, his squad not too far behind him. Problem over there. And... So, so... So we do take a look at this. It's just... It, it's so it's so interesting. Uh, because the more and more we look at it, the more and more... Uh, it just seems that... KSA was all on Charlie now. They all either pushed off or... I don't believe they were wiped. I don't... Um, it was very, very confusing. They were holding the entire map from this position, and maybe they were finally coming back, but uh, it's very, very weird. Yeah, Italy really, really struggled there to maintain any sort of strong position, and, you know, things desperately, desperately need to change for this Italian side moving into the second half of Mercury. They had a nice 26 ticket lead. If they maintain this deficit of over 70, They've got a lot of hard work to put in 
for this next half of Mercury. Otherwise, it's going to go the same way as we saw in the group stages here, where KSA might end up taking this final at the last minute, Timber. Right. Oh, no, go ahead, Matumba. You go ahead. Okay, okay. <laughs> right, right, uh, right here, uh, we look we look at it, and um, D, all, all the flags are being capped. Okay, so I've just been informed by the uh, by the box that it seems that, that KSA has uh, won this match by a 68-ticket uh, victory here. So, very, very well played between the two sides, and... Um, what what exactly uh we, yeah we're getting uh, confirmation from the box there to try and see what the score was that italy did end up losing by if it is going to be this 68 tickets uh that we're seeing for over here it's going to be 40 odd tickets now for the wow. italians to try and make back in this second round of mercury to try and take the game if they don't win by 46 tickets they are going to end up losing here so we need to see things change we saw some really good aggressiveness from the four members of one of their squads pushing down the hill into delta we saw what damage four people can do against a team of like five or six and it was awesome but unfortunately we do see ksa put themselves in a nice comfortable buffer they are i think on the worst side of the map now you know bravo being higher up on the same level as charlie it gives you a nice comfortable easy push from flag to flag yeah, unfortunately that didn't happen for the italians but they need to make use of it now it's very very interesting the uh, last last map you could tell uh, both sides knew uh, the map very very well and i'm I'm sure both sides know this map very well, but it seems like KSA ended up knowing this map a little bit better than uh, Italy. But that really, really showed throughout the entire gameplay, but some great, great moments from both sides there. That squad push looked beautiful, looked like an only battlefield moment. As well as that two-piece, that was a very, very well-played uh, well shots there. Well-placed as well, well-placed shots, uh, if you mind. <laughs> But, yeah, just overall, well played by both sides. Absolutely beautiful uh, gameplay between the two teams. Yeah, now, I didn't really see a lot of the aircraft putting a ton of pressure on the map here from both sides. You know, I think on Mercury, where things change so quickly, these guys don't get a chance to see what's happening. They're busy kind of fighting between themselves. It's mainly coming down to those tankers. I mean, they were... If, if you can get a tank on that Charlie flag, we saw the damage it did to Italy down into uh, Delta. The, that KSA tank was an absolute menace for those Italians. They couldn't do anything on the map. Right, and we, we take a look at it, and it's just... It means so much between the two sides. As we look at the scoreboard there, you can really, really see who is contributing in what way um, and how they're contributing. We, we look at it as a way of um, seeing how I see it is both sides play similarly, but at the same time, they play it for a purpose. They play it for a specific job and role. So each member on each team has a specific job. And um, PSA did their jobs. And now, I mean, Go ahead. Like you're talking about doing your jobs there. We talk back to that replay that we saw at the sort of the mid round of the game there. You know, after that push onto Delta, we start to see Fascia coming, taking up a very, very strong position here. Watching the hill, he knows KSA is going to be coming. Picks off one. KSA jumping over the wall there. Bakes going down to a very, very clean headshot from Fascia. That's going to. And we need to see more gameplay from that from Italy. We saw at the very end there with Acer. We see Mix jumping in as well with Fascia coming down. And that four-man push wiped Delta completely. We need to see more of that from this Italian side. They're not doing it at the moment. They I think they're playing a bit too passive. Their pushes are way too wide on Charlie. They should have just like YOLO'd up the front of the hill there and Enemy really just there. overwhelmed KSA. Instead of trying to go for that long flank, KSA were able to then mop up the hill, move over, get the kills from really strong positions. Um, and things just weren't going that way. And we might end up seeing KSA take this if Italy can't change the game.
it's 26 to 68 here. You know, we're seeing 42 tickets between these two teams. Not much at all. A lot closer than, uh, than most people were actually. I was considering to be quiet and something that you would actually expect from people to be close, but it's as good as the, uh, looking to lose the other. So the more you watch it, the more this is the last one. This is, for every, this is for what they worked for both sides it, it's all dependent on this one game there's no room for error there's no room for mistakes you have to buckle up and get ready yeah, can't agree with you more there, you know. And this is where you have to win it. We're in the final of the Battlefield Nation Summer Cup. We've played a ton of matches coming into this. We've played two group stages here coming through. We've played into knockouts. Italy, KSA have met each other before. Like you said, KSA were able to get the better hand of Italy. And this is where you want to win. And Italy, I think, are sort of throwing their opportunity down the drain. Narvik. They showed up in force and tore KSA to pieces. KSA have turned around and gone, nah, we're having none of that. And to come back with 60 odd tickets in uh, this first round, oh, sorry, 167 tickets. Holy damn. I mean, that's a, that's, a, that's a big deficit for the Italians to be in. I mean, that's mental, dude. I mean, do you think Italy can even come close to that? Well, I do have to double check the. Uh, I don't think well because we went down. But okay. we'll have to find out in a second here. We're going to jumping into another ad break yeah. for this Battlefield Nation Summer Cup. Catch you guys in a sec. Wow, a hundred and sixty-seven tickets. Absolutely insane. Yeah. Yeah, we 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 can't see the scores too I can't see the scores too well. Like it's just Hello, we are back and we are better than ever. I am one of your lovely hosts. I am King Matumbo, the one and only. I'm my uh, my friend, my dearest, dearest friend, Wild. And we are in the BFN Summer Cup finale for the PS4 between Italy and KSA. Two amazing teams battling it out. The last match, the deciding factor, who takes the crown, who wins it all. And I am just more than excited to see how this one will end. Yeah, and I'm ex exactly the same boat as you. 40 odd tickets between these two teams are going to be very, very close. If KSA were able to get those tickets back here, it's going to put Italy in such a comfy position moving into the early stages of this round. They have to grab Charlie and they have to hold it. You know, if they can't hold Charlie and they let KSA walk all over them, they won't end up winning this game. We saw if they can get their tanker on that flag, they can shoot into Bravo, cover that flag nicely for the back caps, put the pressure onto Delta. And uh, that's going to be, I think, for me, the linchpin of Italy's attack here. Send those four hounds that we saw towards the end of the game into Delta, through the smoke, through the fire and flames, jumping off the buildings like madmen. Let them slay to their heart's content. Let the rest of the team set up that line and defend and the pilots do what pilots do their dance of death up in the sky and then try and spot what they can on the ground here for those of you just joining this is the battleful nation summer cup and for one i'm excited to see what this final has to offer for us right we are looking at the lead very very close between the two 
the uh, biggest uh, thing for me to look at and for everyone else to look at is this is a lot closer of a lead than most people would expect it to be uh, or actually predictably uh, for it to be. Well, uh, as I've said before, both teams, good. Both teams, amazing. And this is coming down to the wire. No room for error. No mistakes. Um, there's going to be, it's going to be, you know, really, really congested. Uh, I guess that's the proper word for it. Maybe between the two sides, because it is going to come right down to the wire. No one is going to give an inch in this game. And that's exactly it. And with 42 tickets between these two teams, Italy have got the work to put in. And going back to that first round, we saw Italy managing to score that replay of the round there with Facia, one of those four hounds that we were talking about from the Italian side. Uh, just jumping in and just being absolute powerhouses. And it's all going to come down to this. Italy have to make it count now more than they have ever in this tournament playing against any other team. And if they can make it count here, their loss against KSA in the group stages means nothing. The final is everything. And winning here would be awesome for these conquest sides. And I cast a lot of these 5v5s these close quarters actions, and it's amazing to see the stamina these teams have coming into an almost two-hour long game here. Players are tired. Teams want to win. They're going to be aggressive, and they're going to be going all out. Home flags are capped, and it won't be long before this game starts, guys. And once it starts, you will know. Uh, everyone will know. You'll be seeing the players run down frantically, scrambling for those flags. We want this flag. We want that flag. And both sides are going to make that very, very clear here in a moment. And we see everyone spawning in just now. Here comes the action. And we may uh, be starting off with Kobe here from KSA. Kobe pushed on the E, of course, going for it. Seems uh, maybe cutting across to uh, maybe C. Um, very, very interesting approach from him. But we'll see how that comes into play later is... Uh, let me see here. Italy is coming in a very, very arrayed uh, type of push here. Very, very wide push. And there's going to be one holding uh, B for KSA. Yeah, and we're starting to see KSA take Charlie very, very quickly early on into the game. I don't know what it is about Italy. They're just way too slow off of the mark. But we're starting to see that big heavy hitting squad moving up to Charlie now. But they've got a tank to contend with as well as that infantry. Bravo now going into the way of Italy. They get a very slow on that cap. KSA put everything into Charlie. And now Italy are on the back foot. Infantry split up and they don't know where to go. You know, we did see, I did see at the beginning of the uh, match, the COVID was all red. So props to KSA here. And now catching Italy. Italy's all in one spot. We look, uh, they're inside the uh, more or less ravine area, but they got to push out here. They do not want to get sandwiched at all. And it appears that uh, that's going to be the case for uh, KS, uh, for Italy. Excuse me. Sorry about that. We're going to have a nice little takedown there by losing Kitty. Beautiful kill. We're going to get a nice little view with that pilot coming over. Nice little BF-109 G6 action. And the fighting point is Charlie, and KSA is going to hold Charlie. But we see blue and red. Uh, blue and red don't exactly mix on the battlefield. And that is very, very evident right here. Yeah, Italy managed to move their tank up here. They managed to get some players up into some cover by the buildings and put the pressure onto KSA. F9 with the Lewis gun trying to get some kills there. Goes down to the infantry moving up the hill. We see Italy's tank also trying to push up and put pressure on KSA's tanker. Italy now need to start to push themselves more and more into Charlie to try and get the pressure off of Delta Panzerfaust coming in. F9's kill cam keeping us appraised of that situation. Voki from Italy onto Bravo, lining up the Panzerfaust through the window. Unfortunately, no source on that one as he tries to find out where KSA are hiding in his flag. Dynamite is coming out. If he can try and get the kill here, get some hit markers. Sees the guy to the bottom right and unfortunately doesn't get any kills here. KSA are going to be taking this Bravo flag off of Italy. Now, KSA could play this very, very conservatively. Uh, they have a sizable lead here. Uh, not as big as we assumed it uh, to be, but it is a 
pretty decent lead of about 40 tickets. If they can play it close, even playing it close may actually get them to win here. Um, playing it even, even if they do tie here, KSA would still become the victor. Uh, even if they did lose, you know, lose maybe a couple 10, 20 extra tickets off, they would still be okay. And we're looking at this, they can definitely play this a little bit more conservative, but still have that urgency to play aggressive when they need to. Yeah, I couldn't agree with you more here. Uh, we have fixed the scores, guys. We do apologize about that. A bit of miscommunication in the boxes here. And uh, we're doing a really, really good job from the Italian side, putting pressure on Sergio with the tanker going down as well. Panzerfaust coming in, and that's got a crack C wide open. KSA still flooding the objective. Italy getting shot in the back as they move down. That plane coming in for the strafe is going to get some of those Italian guys going down. Absolutely beautiful. The eight guns on the Spitfire. Um, Victor Alpha, I believe. Beautiful uh, plane coming in for the straight. Absolutely ripping the infantrymen in half right there. We take a look. That infantryman did go down as well. We take a look at that going for the revive. Italy, uh, Lucian Kitty getting a revive, holding his buddy's hand, telling him to get up. It's okay. And we're looking at this now, and map control is in KSA. Is KSA is dominating, and this is this may be the end uh, for Italy here if they don't pull out something fast. You look at this league, look at this league growing. This is not good, and this is extremely bad for Italy. Italy needs to push now, but I'm not sure if they're going to be able to do it. Yeah, they're putting everything into the Bravo push now. Tankers on the field. We're seeing infantry swarming here. And all KSA needs to do is just here, pain in the backside on Bravo, slow things down, and we're starting to see that happen. We're seeing Books coming in now, unfortunately going down. Italy now securing that Bravo flag 100% as they set up for a push onto Charlie. KSA, not really any way important on the map. Kind of spread around here, slowing down the Italian push, really setting up a nice, strong defensive line. Only one player on this Charlie flag, but KSA out of nowhere, coming from the rear, slapping Italy in the backside as they move towards Charlie. Remember, this lead, uh, the score is pretty uh, large, and I, I don't know what else uh, that Italy can do here. This is just a test of time they're delaying i would say fade at this point but they they could pull something out but i don't know how that instrument did die there from the italy from that italy tank are very interesting but it's just a fine trying to defy the odds here it's just not looking good it's very very uh going south as they say for um for italy it's just definitely not going in their favor yeah can i say crack bravo within a matter of minutes here. Kill trades coming in thick and fast. Kill feed going in the way of KSA, painting it completely red there. I do think we saw an anti-tank mine taking out the Italian tanker there as KSA now start to push up the line on the left-hand side. They hold Bravo. Italy trying to put pressure onto that Delta flag. It's not working out for them as we start to see a firing squad from the KSA guys pulling down their weight into Delta. Italy now coming in with some heavy hitters onto the back end of Charlie, but they're just too slow. Fascia, one of those replays we saw in the first half, unfortunately not able to get the kill there. Matex getting the trade though, it's gonna be the first kill for Italy in a long while on the kill feed. Paz also pulling some weight there as well. I mean, we do look at this, we, we're looking at the ticket lead and I do believe that very shortly this match will actually just come to an end due to the amount of tickets that uh, KSA does hold. So we are doing a look at this. I, I think the, the point right now is just Italy's fighting for pride at this point because I do believe that this one is um, all but over. Or yeah. over, I would say. No. Yeah, we'll get confirmation from the box in the second to know what the situation is. But Italy still playing out the rest of this map here. They're not letting it go. You know, they won the first two halves here, and even if they lose on ticket difference, winning the map overall is still something to be proud about here. Though I do think Italy are just way too slow. The tanker for KSA hammering a double kill there. Hero KSA now on the deck, spraying into Delta, goes down, but allows for Densto there to get the kill trait and get the revive. 
And I definitely think that's where KSA has done the most work oh, in this game so far. They've got the trades, they split Italy up, and even those four heavy hitters from Italy haven't been able to compete. And it's a real shame Italy did really good work in the first half of the match here on Narvik, and it all went to pot onto Mercury. And just goes to show how different the matches are um, between both uh, teams as well. And and I would say uh, whoever got the kill there is a tank actually. Roma, it's a beautiful shot as well. Taking out another one as well. Beautiful, uh, well played. And we're just taking a look at this now, and this is how it ends, unfortunately for both sides. But fortunately for KSA, um, wrapping this one up as I do, and as I am looking at the ticket right now, this looks like this will be open very very soon. But I do have to say congratulations to uh, KSA. Yeah, and congratulations to Sweet for following the BFN action tonight. I hope you've enjoyed it so far in this final. Nice little segue into that one there. But yeah, Italy did a really good job there, but I think KSA just better. I mean, these are two heavy hitting teams. We'll go back to their group stage stores yet again. You know, KSA won by 105 to 83. It's a completely different story here in the final. And I, I don't know whether it was just the fact that the game has just gone on for almost two hours, players getting tired, or it's just the map is definitely something KSA have practiced. Yeah. Yeah, so we're just getting some information in from the box here, and Italy still going to play here. They're still playing out for everything. Unfortunately, things aren't going their way. KSA still have complete dominance of the game here. Matex having to go back pretty much all the way to his spawn to get a revive here, as KSA players are everywhere. Hmm, as a, uh, we, we look at the ticket lead, this ticket lead is just absolutely brutal. This is... Uh, Italy's fighting, but this this lead we're we're taking a look at it. I mean, look at the action right here, beautiful action. But this lead is absolutely gruesome. It's uh, it's just well played, and it goes to uh, goes to show how uh, how map knowledge really comes into to play it when it comes to battlefield uh, competitive scenes. Yeah, definitely. I think Italy made a huge mistake there playing the slow passive approach in the first half. They're playing slow here as well. They've managed to retake Bravo, but it's just taken them so long to do so. Their pilots have been doing a good job. The tankers have been doing a good job. KSA ripping the Italian tanker off of Bravo, and now they're going to go for that wrap, that pinch, and that flag's going to go back in the way of KSA very, very soon. Kobe with that Panzerfaust put into some serious work there. Italy now starting to creep back on the kill feed, though. Yeah, a little less red than we've been seeing in the last few minutes, Timber. And absolutely, and Italy coming on here, getting a nice kill there, beautiful kill. Oh, hitting the tank, I, I don't think he did any damage to the tank, but I don't know what that was exactly, but he's getting the revive there, beautiful, as he picks up a, a kill out of nowhere, unless he got a revive, I'm very, very confused what's going on, um, the kill feed. Jump into that replay there, as you see KSA coming in, and hitting the front of the tank, they're getting a kill from that. AT grenade goes in and he gets to revive. Paz doing an amazing job there under the pressure. Oh, he gets, okay. And he okay. gets the so kill from the AT grenade, yeah. Oh, he got the kill. Okay, that, that's actually uh, it's really cool. It's really fun as well. Was, uh, yeah, it's, uh, I think he did, he did massive damage to that front. Obviously, the angling not coming in anywhere close to what the KSA tanker wanted. Had to pull back, pull back into a really well placed AT grenade there. Italy now coming back with some force smoke coming up. Something that we lacked in the first half here as Italy now starts to push really aggressively up the top of the hill here. A nice four man push trying to climb up. Illusion getting stuck on the rocks there and he's got players all around him. Teammates taking them out. Absolutely execution style right there. But Italy are now stopped in their tracks, caught up in a little ball of smoke. And they're just going to start to get gunned down here from the left. KSA is setting up a rush defense here. But again, getting shot from the left in the ravine. Italy in the worst place possible they could be on that Charlie flag trying to get into it. They have to be on there quicker. KSA are now just going to wrap around the back, grab Bravo, and start to hit these KSA guys in the back yet again. 
people, or the more and more I look at it, the more and more I, I tend to just think it's what what changed from the first match to the second match, or the first round, or say the second. And I think that generally came down to play style. Like I, I don't, I've never seen anyone be this aggressive towards Italy. It's usually Italy putting in the work. But KSA just came into this uh, into Mercury and said, okay, "Okay, we've had enough," and they've absolutely, just, quite honestly, just dominated in every way. It was, it was, it was ugly. Uh, but I think that comes into it as well. We, like we see Novix very like uh, dual linear. You see Delta and yeah. is down at the bottom there, and it gives you sort of that pendulum pivot motion that you can do around the map and you can attack from anywhere this is very much one straight line of flags and if you hold charlie you can kind of hold the whole game here and ksa right. have done that both rounds they planted their tank onto there and most of their spawns have come from the charlie flag and that's how they dominate this game going through and italy just hasn't been able to replicate that magic ksa have managed to uh do a, a really good job here hold, holding that flag Mm. And it seems that this one is going to wrap up very, very soon. But both sides played absolutely tremendously. I'm equally proud of both sides. And I have just been confirmed uh, by the box that 374 in favor of uh, KSA. Absolutely uh, amazing win. And I would like to uh, congratulate the new Battlefield Nations champions, uh, KSA. Congratulations. Yeah, and with that, we're going to wrap up the BFN Summer Cup Conquest 12v12 PS4 Final. It's been a long road to get here, culminating into Italy versus KSA, two of the strongest teams around in all kind of uh, combat here. Again, the 12v12s, the 5v5s, uh, but KSA proving dominant with a huge difference there like my friend Matumba said 374 to 26 it's just been absolutely phenomenal here jumping onto a replay from Dempsto here as he comes in gets a massive kill through the smoke there taking out Matex one of the big hitters but again well done to KSA there uh, I've been one of your commentators a while time. I've enjoyed every minute of this cast tonight. Some really, really close action. And I hope you guys have enjoyed it as well. I mean, what have your thoughts been on this, Matumba? It's been nothing short but amazing. I am more than privileged. I would say it, it's more or less a privilege to be able to uh, cast for this amazing organization as well as to cast these amazing teams that are willing to put it in the and I'm sure that uh, this will carry over into the legacy of BF6 as well, and for the rest of the BF games. Um, this has been nothing short of amazing, and it's been an amazing journey. Uh, I'm proud of every team that's competed, and I'm proud of um, you know these people that have happened to make it into the finals. Uh, I have to say congratulations to both teams that made it into the finals as well, and a special congratulations to um, to KSA. Like KSA has definitely earned this one. More. And thanks to all of the guys who followed the Battlefield Nations team here tonight. Uh, keep eyes on the channel, keep eyes on the Twitter and the website as well. Join the Discord if you want to go and play for your teams as well. A lot of action, a lot of active community here in the Battlefield 5 scene. As you've seen tonight, getting 24 players on for over two hours of intense gameplay across two different nations here. Teammates playing teammates. But in the end, only one team can win, and that was KSA. And obviously, you guys as viewers being able to watch such awesome gameplay here. It's just been absolutely amazing. I love every single one of you people that are in the chat. All, uh, everyone that stayed with us throughout the entire stream. I know it was a long time. I know it, was, uh, I know it took a little while to finish, but we got through. We made it through. And... Um, we got nothing short of uh, absolutely amazing gameplay. And like I said, I hope that carries on for uh, for the next generation of Battlefield games. I couldn't agree more. And I think with that, we are going to be closing off the stream very, very shortly. 
Thanks, guys, for watching this absolute intense final here. GG's to KSA. It's been my first time casting with you, Matumba. It's been absolutely amazing, and especially coming into my first 12v12 game in a long while, probably since the beginning of Battlefield 5. Um, and with that, thank you, Battlefield Nations, for hosting such an amazing tournament here. And again, GG's to KSA. Uh, thank you.